Okay, we're at number 17, you know, the whiteboard. And this one's pretty interesting because I see the root two in the problem, and I'm hoping it's going to work out pretty nicely. Um, so I will go to the whiteboard. Just give me one moment to do so. And let me get the whiteboard open. Let me, you know, I get, I'll get a clean whiteboard. Let me delete this one out. And I'll expand it. And again, this is problem number 17. And number 17, looking at it, I'll just write it down again. X plus 1 and X plus 3. And I'll, I'll talk about the steps that I would follow to do the problem. They may look different from what's on the um, my blue guide. And I think the number one reason sometimes things look different is, you know, one day I do one thing, another day I do another thing. But there is some consistency to it. And the consistency is as follows. I would definitely simplify both sides. And what do you get? X squared plus 4X plus 3, and then I get root 2 x, and then I get 7 root 2 plus 12. And I'm looking at this thing, and I want to, I think I am going to use completing the square on it. So I'm going to write down x squared plus, I'm going to say 4 minus root 2 x. All right, and then what do I get? I would get equals... 7 root 2 plus 9. All right, let's see if I did that right. First of all, I did simplify it right. I get x squared, 4x plus 3 on the left side, good. On the right side, root 2x, 7 root 2, good. I got plus 12. Did I copy right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. So what I do next, I get the x's on the one side, constants on the other, and I'm ready to go. So how do you do this? Uh, I'll write this down for you. What's really nice about this problem is the coefficient on the x squared term is 1. So this should be a very simple completing the square problem. And what's it going to be? You're going to take half of the coefficient on the x and square it and add it to both sides. I'll write this over here. Now granted, there is work to do. I'm not saying there's not work. Looking at the work, someone says, what's the work? Well, one thing is I want to write down, the left side is now a perfect square. And what's that going to be? x plus 4 minus root 2 over 2 squared. And I'd like to simplify the right side. And the first thing I notice about it, I have a 4 as a denominator, a common denominator. All right, so it's going to be 28 root 2 plus 36, and then what are you going to get? And i got to do that now, right? So i got to square that thing. So that's going to be plus 16, and let's see, you would get, uh, let's see, minus 8, root 2, plus 2. All right, don't despair yet. i got to go forward. And this is going to be x plus... 4 minus root 2 over 2 squared equals, this is going to be a 4. That's not an issue for me. I'm looking at the top, and I see 20 root 2. And let's see what you get there. 36, 46, 52, 54. Let's see if I did that right. 36... 46, 52, 54. All right. Let me stop for a moment. Make sure I didn't copy anything incorrect here. Just give me one moment. I'm gonna look at it. It looks fine. Okay, I'm all right. Now I gotta do it. It looks tough though, I'll be honest with you. And it looks like I'm going to come with. Uh, I'm going to get a nested root, but I know I know how to deal with that. And that's going to be a two, but then I get this plus or minus a nested root. I'm going to write that as fifty four plus. And you know I like a two in front, right? So I'm going to say two 
and then it's going to be 200. All right, so what I, I kept the two from the 20. That means I had a 10 left over. Brought the 10 to the inside, it's 100, so 200. So let me keep going, and I get x equals, well, it's a common of two then. So it's going to be root two minus four plus or minus that nested root. All right, I think you know I'm not going to leave it there because I want to get that nested root on nested. So what I'm going to do is um, the technique we've discussed before. You know, I'm not going to guarantee you'll be able to do it, but it would seem unusual if I couldn't do it. So this is 54 plus 2 root 200, and I'll make an assumption I can do it. So root A plus root B, and let's just see what happens. Square both sides, you get 54 plus 2 times the root of 200 equals a plus b plus 2 root ab. And then I'm going to equate things. So I'm going to say a plus b is 54, and a times b equals 200. And these things often can be maddening to look at them saying, I wonder if I can do that. Well, I think I'm seeing it. So I'm thinking I'm, I'm seeing that it, it's 50 times 4, because 50 times 4 is 200, and 50 plus 4 is, in fact, uh, 54. So then the, the statement becomes this, that this could be written as the root of 50 plus the root of 4. All right, now, I, I think I can go back here now, and um, I can write x down. And i got to be real careful. <coughs> root 2 minus 4 plus or minus I just unnested that root didn't I so it's going to be 2 and the square root of 50 right that's going to be what 25 times 2 so that's going to be 5 root 2 As things are getting better though they're starting to look up let's write this down x is we have an answer key to look at as well by the way minus 4 plus 2 plus 5 root 2 over 2. Or it could be root 2 minus 4 minus 2 minus 5 root 2 over 2. And I got some work to do here, don't I? So x equals, let's do the this one first here and see what happens. And I'm seeing that's 6 root 2 uh, minus 2 over 2, which is 3 root 2 minus 1. Yep, I did okay there. Let's do the other one. x equals, well, let's see what you get there. You get minus 6, minus 4, root 2, over 2. And what would that give you? Well, that's going to give you minus 3, minus 2 root 2. So I'm committing to these two answers over here. Of course, what do I need to do? Uh, mistakes happen all the time, and that's the whole point. You want to look at the answer key to see if you can agree with what we're saying over here. Now, granted, I'm not looking at my work at this point, although the work is remarkably similar but somewhat different. I did something different in the work, by the way. I, did, I followed more of Wells' approach during the, uh, the work that I was presenting. So it's 3 root 2 minus 1. I see that right there. And the other one is minus 3 minus 2 root 2. So we did a good job on that one over there. Again, your mileage may vary by the technique you, you, you do, but the bottom line is this is where you should end in the end of the problem. All right? Could if you use a computer algebra system, you're going to end here. Thank you.